Hey there guys, Godly Seafood here. I want to make a quick little video. I don't know if I'll do these like every month. I, th I was thinking about it. I was like, it'd be cool to like kind of show off what I get. I know people like pack openings and stuff like that. And the membership genie, the membership gin, uh, whatever the fuck his name is. He, he, he gives you the ability every month to get uh, membership stuff. You know, free packs as you were with uh, membership tokens. And you get basically, you know, one to four each month but then also it seems to also be glitched or intentionally glitched to give you more points whenever your subscription renews so if i were to uh buy my subscription on the 15th at the very beginning of the month i would get you know let's say four of the max loyalty tier tokens however on the 15th i will also get an additional four for being you know loyalty member however many months long but it, it seems to like give you potentially up to eight each month so yeah i i don't know i was thinking about it i'm not really interested in the skyfarer's horde pack the gear looks cool but that's all i can say and i'm not a fan of stitching too much but what i'm can definitely say is i definitely want to buy some of these gold keys just because they're pretty good like that's three runs of any gold key boss that i want for potential crowns loot that they drop and then there's the novice explorer packs uh which i think I might get some of those. I want to go for the Nightmire's Horde pack, just kind of see what they got. I don't think I've really looked too far into this other than maybe getting a free thing every or a free pack last month. Uh, so yeah, basically trash. I got a deck that's worthless. It doesn't have a triangle on it, so it means nothing. Ooh, got a hat for balance. Uh, got an amulet for ice. That's nine universal resist. Holy shit. That's not bad. <laughs> if I ever bother to start playing on my ice again, that'll be good. And then what's, what's the last one? Looks like a hat and a ring. Nothing for myth. A couple things for life. Uh, oh, wait, no. This is ice. So this is basically worthless because I can get a better ring from Aphrodite at level 100. This, however, is pretty interesting. It gives a lot of... Uh, a fair amount of damage crit some accuracy for level 110 stuff that's not bad i could technically save these till later on but you know why wait i might as well enjoy it while i've got it here Ooh, we got a myth ring uh not anywhere near as good as my current ring but that's there got life shoes level 110 it's not bad not bad at all and a theme for fire pretty trash compared to what you can get from Yevgeny. I don't know, you might be able to argue that the two accuracy isn't valuable compared to the two power pips and universal block this one gives. And lastly, second to last, I don't know. Oh, got a wand. I'm not a fan of these wands that are like, hey, get a ton of crit and a ton of uh, damage and then get no pierce, no shadow pip, but also, hey, have three universal accuracy. Like, Accuracy is super good, except for the fact that when you have to sacrifice stats for it, it starts becoming less valuable. Also got this. This is pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to show that. I know this was on sale last month. Not sure why it's here. Uh, if I hurry my ass up, I might actually be able to buy enough of these crafting benefits to where I can uh, farm some catacombs and make that just a whole lot easier blueprint tokens i don't really see as being worth it unless you just have an excess amount and you just want to spend them all uh like i said i'm not going for the skyfarers horde pack just because it looks cool but i don't i don't need the looks none of the stats are good oh none of these even give like universal resist which is just a major major issue for me like if it doesn't have universal resist like it might as well be trash but yeah, that's, that's basically it. Enjoy. No, I keep pistoling.